Okay. So, on the review, we have the universal set, all these wingdings. So we have a square, smiley face, circle, triangle, heart, diamond, gender things, the note, and sun. Okay. And we have set C, copyright. We have the square, circle, triangle, diamond, this one, and the note. And set R has a smiley face, circle, triangle, heart, that one, and the note. Okay. So it says, what is the union of C and R? Okay. So that would be the square, the circle. Not going to be grading on artwork here. Triangle, not even going to fill these in. The diamond, horrible. Uh, that symbol, uh, the note. The smiley face and the heart. You can see why I do not teach art class. All right, not C and R, okay. The no, I'm sorry, the number. So this means the number. So the number of that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight items in there. Next one is the intersection of C and R. What is it common to both? So that's the circle, the triangle, that symbol, and the stat the note. Yes, that's supposed to be a note. That's horrible. Okay. The number in there, that would be four items. Four items in the middle. If we made a um Venn diagram with this, which we wouldn't because it'd be insane. There would be four items in the middle. Okay. What is not in C? Okay. Well, that would be the smiley face. That would be the heart. That would be this one, the pointed down one, and the sun. How many is that? And for number, that's four. What's not in R? And I'm not, you know, obviously I'm not bouncing back and forth going, oh, let's look at the, you know, you can look at it yourself. But what's not in R would be the square, the diamond, this bad boy, and the sun. And the number of that I is also four. Fun little review off wingdings. Number two, give the information, draw a Venn diagram, and then fill in the missing blank. So we'll put our Venn diagram down here, give us a nice little space for it. Put our two circles. Okay, we obviously have P and Q. Okay, the universal set is 250. So we put 250 at the top. Okay, we know P has 105. Okay. We know the intersection right here is 75, so you can put that right there. Well, if we know that's 75 and P is 105, that leaves 30 for here. All right. Not P or Q is 20, so that goes down here. All right. And then we start filling in numbers, okay? So Q is gonna be 200, okay? We know there's 250, there's 30 here, 75 here, that would leave 125 here. Now if we add up all those numbers, 125, 75, and 30, we will, and the 20, we'll get the 250. So the union of P and Q is 230. So that's adding the 75, the 30, and the 125. What's not in P? Okay, not P is going to be 220. If we look at not Q, 
I'm sorry. Yeah. That's going to be 125. Now, the intersection of not P and Q will be 125. And not Q, P will be the 30. All right, make our box, make our circles. Because last year there were 120 LHS students who signed up as super fans. So 120 is the total number. 115 attended football games, 106 attended basketball games. So we have football and basketball games. And 102 did both. So that puts 102 in the middle here. That's 102. Okay. Well, 115 attended football. So 115 minus 102 gives us 13. 106 attended basketball. So 106 minus 102 is 4. If we add those up and subtract, we get one person who did neither. And that's the answer to how many did neither is one. At the, stu at the movies on Friday night, 60 customers bought soda and popcorn, while 26 bought popcorn only. So obviously we have soda and popcorn. We know that 60 bought both. 26 bought popcorn only. If there's 113 customers, so that goes at the top, that's our universal. And eight customers bought neither. Okay, crunch the numbers, and you end up with 19 here. And that's our customers who only bought soda. And that's our review.